The world's largest airborne observatory has returned to New Zealand for a fourth season to gather data from stars, planets and galaxies that can only be observed in the Southern Hemisphere. Sophia, the Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy is a modified Boeing 747 with a 2.5 metre telescope inside. NASA astronomers will be using the telescope for 28 different flight missions during a seven-week deployment in Christchurch. Our reporter Maya Burry took flight on Sophia. All right, let's get started. I think uh, we've got everybody in the room. Uh, we got the uh, flight number 415 for Sophia is the mission brief. All right, timeline is we're going to close the door at 440. So let's get everybody out there uh, no later than 430 today. All right, let's see who we have. We have Gucci, who is our pilot tonight. And Newt, who's our co. This team of scientists, pilots, and technicians are usually based in Palmdale, California, where they study objects light years away on the Sophia, the only plane of its kind. After taking off, each flight tracks a unique 10 hour long path across the Southern Ocean to get the best possible view of different observational targets. Project scientist Kimberly Eniko-Smith says it flies at heights of up to 45,000 feet, so the telescope can see things in space that would otherwise be blocked by water vapor. The higher you get in Earth's atmosphere, you get above the water vapor. So we're much further above the clouds, and that allows us to actually detect infrared light. So the access to the southern hemisphere in really good skies uh, brings us down south. Dr. Eniko Smith says Christchurch is an important base for the SOFIA, as it can take advantage of the long dry winter nights. She says the work done here is vital in helping to answer important scientific questions. We're after questions like, what are we made of? Where did we come from? We're studying our Milky Way galaxy, our neighboring galaxies, the Magellanic Clouds. Uh, we're even studying um, uh, other galaxies, plus the stars that are forming within our own galaxy, understanding their birth, their life cycle, and their death. And then by that, we understand how we came to be. The project is a joint venture between the German Aerospace Center, which built the 19-ton telescope, and NASA, which runs the SOFIA program. The flight mission director, Randy Gracious, says the technology on board is groundbreaking. From a technical perspective, this, this telescope is remarkable. It's unique, the only one in the world. The fact that they can keep this telescope locked on to a specific point in the sky, even with turbulence, I mean, if we're bouncing around, the entire plane is bouncing around, the telescope stays fixed in an inertial part of the sky, like it, as if it were a satellite. Truly phenomenal to see that. On Monday, the SOFIA will undertake a mission to better understand MU69, a rocky remnant of a planetary formation beyond Pluto. MU69 will become the farthest object ever encountered by any spacecraft in 2019, when NASA's New Horizons probe races past it. Kimberly Eniko smith says it will be taking measurements of the object to help the space probe on its journey. We can get a first-hand look at um, what the size of the object is and if the measurement shows um, any evidence of rings. And if we do find that, that will give the New Horizons team a heads up that area in space where MU69 is might have a potential hazard for that spacecraft to be aware of. Eric Sandberg will be one of two people operating the SOFIA telescope on Monday's mission. He says there has been a huge amount of planning for the flight. It's heaps of work. It's weeks and months of planning and meetings and more meetings and emails. And your hands won't be shaking as you're flipping switches? And... Uh, they're always shaking. You always want to do a good job. You know a lot of people are looking and so you know there's always that little bit of, little bit of nervousness. The SOFIA team is two weeks into their New Zealand deployment. They will return to California after their last flight on August 9th. For Checkpoint, Maya Burry, 